What in the hell is that? My zucchini casserole. Zucchini? Uh, excuse me, but this is not Italian squash. Yeah, the only thing Italian about this situation is your dirty lies. <sighs> You're right. It's not zucchini. It's okra. I guess when I was at the store, my mind was somewhere else. See, sometimes I escape to a little place in my head where no one complains about the meals I cook. <laughs> and there's no more scraping snot rockets off the shower tiles. And no more PB&J with the crust cut off. <sighs> anyway, if you don't want to eat it, I can fix something else. Okra's great. Yum! Well, I'm not eating it. Okra gives me pretty bad gas. Just eat it. Okay, but don't complain if I get pretty bad gas. <coughs> uh, Stan! <coughs> the house must be on fire! <coughs> I don't see any flames! Then what is it? Uh, who farted? This guy! <coughs> Well, whatever's in there is off the charts toxic. It's gonna take at least a week to sanitize your house. A week? Where are we supposed to go for a week? Relax, just leave it to me. Okay, I got us free rooms for the whole week. How'd you do that? I stayed here back in the 80s and suffered a terrible accident. To avoid a lawsuit, the hotel gave me a free week of rooms. Honestly, I forgot about the whole thing until today. That fart really shook some memories loose. Wow, I just remembered I was also in a legal battle with Nabisco. I claimed I was Asian and sued over cheese nips. Anyway, everything's complimentary. Room service, laundry, you name it. You hear that, honey? A whole week without you having to take care of us. Wow, finally some me time. Stan and Francine, here are keys to your room, and Steve, here's yours. What about my room? Got you covered. Oh, boy, what's in here? Some say that was the end of Klaus's story. Some say it was just the beginning. No one ever says it was the middle.